So I have been keeping a slight secret from all of you. Um, I became a surrogate partner over a year now, so it's been a year and a half, and have just been working with clients that have been sent my way. So this is going to be kind of a long video because I want to explain as much as I can, and I know there's still going to be questions. So please post your questions, send me private messages, I get it. There's a lot here. So I'll do my best to kind of go slow and explain how this works, who this is for, um, what it's not. And so first, because most of you know me as a professional cuddler, let me first explain how it's not like professional cuddling. So when we consider or think about professional cuddling, we think about platonic touch or human touch that is specifically within the platonic sector. That's good, right? Like <laughs> you're gonna get cuddling, there's no agenda, there's no pressure to do anything other than just be able to receive and give touch. And it, again, it's within like clothing on, platonic, and for a set amount of time. And there really, really aren't goals in mind. With professional cuddling, I, my hope is that if you pick up anybody, like not pick up, but you know, just reach out to somebody who does the work, that you're getting a session that's pretty basic. I mean, my hope is all practitioners are just doing touch at the basic level. And if you're looking for you know in-depth work like trauma work or something else, um, then you would find practitioners within uh, professional cuddling that can provide those things, but those are not given. So that's you know that's professional cuddling over here. And now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something that is a little more expansive. It's meant to consider the whole person, not just that one part of us that's. The platonic side it looks at the entire whole being and the kind of issues that show up with professional cuddling you necessarily don't have to come with issues you don't have to have a problem you just would love to be able to give and receive touch again simple with surrogate partner work you're now looking at okay there's something that's missing something that's not not right with your relationships and so breaking it down surrogate partner <laughs> often people are like wait does it mean like you carry babies like like surrogacy so no even though it's the same like the root idea i a surrogate partner actually do it this way surrogate partner a surrogate is someone who's a substitute basically who holds a place for another person and partner is basically i am the substitute partner boyfriend girlfriend you know depending on of course what gender you are or a partner in your life who will do the things work on the things that you need to work on and there can be lots of things. Most people, me included, um, have issues in relationships and relating in connecting our fears, our insecurities from childhood, our shit shows up and we it feels good to be able to work on that stuff with someone else where the stakes are low. That's important here because if you mess up with me, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna get mad, I'm not gonna move out, I'm not gonna like dump your ASS, you know, I'm just gonna be like, cool, let's start over, reset button, let's try that again. And that's the relief of having someone to practice this stuff. And again, often can't be your counselor because that's not the role they're playing. This is a much more intimate connection. So let me now kind of reel that back in. Now you know the difference between professional cuddling, kind of like basic professional cuddling, and surrogate partner. I'm gonna start talking about more surrogate partner stuff. So, um, first I wanna admit that as I make this video, I am limited. I'm sharing from my experience, which again, isn't extensive. There are people who've been doing this work 20, 30, 40 years. It's been around a long time. It um, gained popularity back, I think, in the 80s before AIDS kind of hit the scene. Um, if you look it up, there are you know, there's fantastic stuff out there, but back in those days where it was really helpful, there's a movie called The Sessions with Helen Hunt that shows kind of a more modern take on what this work can look like, especially within the disability community. Super exciting that we can provide this, again, hands-on, intimate approach. Now, um, my experience I have, you know, now it's, I guess I'm coming on to four years of doing professional cuddling, which is amazing. And that's been kind of my strength of relating with people on that level. So getting this additional training has allowed me to also consider, again, other parts. So I have that client experience. I just don't have 
much of which we'll get there, like the, some of the other things. But luckily, we'll also talk about the triadic model, which I'll be showing you an image of briefly to explain that I don't have to know everything. I'm not working alone as a surrogate partner. So my training is with the Institute for Mind Body Therapy, and that is, they have office here in the San Antonio area, so north of San Antonio, between San Antonio and Austin, and Philadelphia, and other cities, like satellites, they have different groups of people who do this work. And Dr. Susan Kay is the person I work with, so let me show you who this person is, so that you can have um, an idea of, yeah, of this. Let me, I'm gonna flip the screen around so you can see who I'm talking about. This is Dr. Susan K. Yay! All right, that's her contact information. Of course, you can always request a fifteen, a fi free fifteen-minute consult. There's a number. Please pause the video if you need this information. Please go to her website to learn more about her. Now, hold on. Don't go anywhere. So I've been working with her, with her clients, and who she is. She's a uh, sexologist. So she's the, what we call the neck up person. She's the person that people talk to and explain kind of what their problems are. And I am <laughs> one of the body workers. Now this is an expanded body work like team she has. So there's people doing different types of body work. It could be like Reiki or massage or you know whatever it might be. So there's different people that are the support for the client and the client being the third person making it the triadic model which again i'll show you an image of that in a second so i trained under her and did the the institute online training and i've been seeing her clients and again being the body worker and sometimes they don't always see everything with me they go off to somebody else like there's people in austin that she also has a surrogate so again we're a team i'm not just solo and I have a method of how I like to work with clients uh, because of my strong cuddling background. I, and I think Susan also is really supportive of it. We start usually with cuddling, with platonic touch. Again, I'll get more into that. Okay, so now we're gonna move into who is this for? <laughs> Surrogate partner work is for single people who, um, I guess are unpartnered who don't have a partner that they can work on these issues with and again I'm a substitute for the real thing so I'm here to get you ready for that special relationship that you one day hopefully hopefully will have or I'm preparing you again it's really important that people recognize this is for singles I know a lot of married people would like to work on their skills and their partner isn't as accessible to that that's a thing you can talk to Susan about and work on again with her on that, um, but this is meant to be for single people. Now, what kind of issues could people come to this work with? It's a long list, <laughs> incredibly long list, but I'm just gonna throw a bunch out there so that you have a better idea if this may be you. Body image, it can be something, and that's can be really complicated, but body image, late life virginity. Yes, there are people that are 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, who are virgins and would like to, who've never been in a relationship, who've never had that experience, who would like to begin the process of learning what that's all about. Erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, um, avoidant personality types, um, aversion to touch, uh, physical and physical kind of physical touch, um, and disabilities, so it could be physical or mental disabilities, intellectual disabilities, Social phobias, maybe the person that's really scared to be out with people. Lack of experience with the gender of your attraction. And again, just that insecurity is there. Uh, social lack of confidence could be present. Maybe it's just some kink issues, sexuality shame, and more, right? So this is just a small list of things that are possible. And, and here's the kicker. Here's the part that everyone trips over. It's not about sex. So often people think this is sex surrogacy. I, I've moved away from that terminology and it can be, like there are it's true sexual needs, but um, I'll be really honest from where I'm standing right now, my experience, 
it hasn't gone sexual with any of my triadic model clients at all. <laughs> Maybe because we haven't finished the entire program. I mean, there's that's usually not where the needs actually lie. It's not with the genitals. It it really lies in the whole body, the whole you know mental mind body connection is really what we're looking at here. Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> Who's disappointed? Oh my gosh. Um, so often people think, oh, this is my ticket in to like have sex, and this is this is that is not the thing. This is not. This is not how it works. Oftentimes, the problems that people have with their sexual impulse, desires, you know, however you want to describe them, has a lot more to do with our inability to slow down and to make the whole body connection, right? To actually learn how to feel, to wake up your hands, to feel, to have pleasure in your hands and your you know, face. So in that way, sometimes it feels kind of like professional cuddling in the beginning because we're just learning what it's like to have touch and and to, but not only just having that touch, but learning that this hand connects straight to our brains and we can experience pleasure here. There's a lot there. I mean, that could be many multiple sessions where we're just learning how to, to do that. There's so much pressure for genitals to perform expectations. There's a lot of pressure. And often we think we'll just have to, at, at, you know, apply more pressure, <laughs> maybe they'll work better. Maybe if I have a more attractive person in front of me, whatever it is. It's not it. It is, again, about slowing down, experiencing the entire body and not just that part. Um, so for those of you who are disappointed, I see you. <laughs> just know that that's not what this is. Ooh, so if you're looking for sex, this isn't it. This is probably the very, very absolute long route to that process. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's complicated in that way. So I'm going to show you an image about the triadic model and give me a second as I pull it up and flip over the camera. All right, here we go. So, ah, uh, look at the top. Is this you? Yay. Are you the client? Oh, you don't need to see all of that. Whoops. Little teaser there. Sorry about that. <laughs> look at the house. The house is falling apart. There's a little blooper. Okay. Let's take a look at that and make sure we don't slip into that thing again. You don't need to see all those <laughs> my images. Uh, okay, so there's the client, right? What we have, there's me, and there's the talk pro. Now, I want to just also clarify that that talk pro can be anyone. I use Dr. Susan K, but I'll just, um, but it could be anybody that you might work with, a therapist, psychologist. If you have someone who's willing to work with a surrogate, she also trains psychologists and people, so if that, um, if you want, you know, to your therapist to work with me, that would be an option as well. With her, she does the intake, which is $150. This can be over the phone. Um, after that, you have 15 minute phone call follow-ups after like our session. So like mine and your session, then you have a free follow-up unless you don't have to pay, unless it's more an extensive kind of talk session. So what happens between her and me is we do lots of note sharing. She shares her intake information with me. Then we consult on the next steps. And then of course that, her and I, my connection is of no charge to you. And so my sessions with you are 90 minutes for $200. And these are hands on. So that's what's called the triadic model. Yay. And this is one's particular to me and not, you know, there's, again, there's other ways in which other people work this stuff, but this is my particular one. So thanks again for those of you who are still on and watching. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of details here, so I'm gonna keep going through. And as I said, um, that triadic model is important. You're, you're the point, you're the center, you're the part, we're focusing on you. You have a talk person. Again, it can be your personal talk person you've been working with already. Or, and then the body person could be me, could be someone else. It just, we're trying to find the right match for you. So I use Dr. Susan K because most people don't have a talk person that they're, that's open and willing. This is, and I'll just, again, I'll just throw it out there, be honest with you all. Um, most talk people don't want to work with surrogates. It's too much of a liability uh, because of some of the stuff that happens. 
The question we often ask ourselves in the industry is, is it ethical to have for a psychologist, a counselor to see someone for a really long time when what they really need is some hands-on work? So, you know, when you see them come in with the same issues over and over again, and you really, they really need to have hands on them, is that really truly ethical? Questions to consider if you find yourself kind of in a rut and not getting through and not really growing the way you want to grow. So, but you know, it can hurt to ask if you, um, you're a talk person. So this process takes a long time. It can at least. Um, it may have taken you 20, 30, 40, 50 years to get to where you are. And I'm sorry that, that you've been living with whatever it is that you have. It it's, can't be erased after two or three sessions. Unfortunately, I wish it could, but it's quite not like that. So we do the best that we can to maximize our time together, to work on the sticky parts. Again, people sometimes will get stuck way before, again, like it's in the platonic realm for a really long time. So what can you expect from a session with me? Um, <laughs> so you'll meet with your talk person. That will be the first thing that I recommend. So contact Susan directly. You don't need to even tell me. Just go ahead and you can, you can of course tell her that I sent you and see if we're a good match. The three of us would be a good match to work together. What you also can expect that our beginning sessions are platonic. <laughs> Again, I feel like I have to uh, reiterate, reiterate, what's the word? Ah, I have to emphasize this point is that it is, it begins in the cuddling, the platonic sector. At least with the ones that I create and I do, that's where I begin. And that's where Susan also really encourages clients to begin. And we do exercises, we practice, we learn, we kind of see what's going on within you. And we go from there. So when Susan and I meet and talk about you, <laughs> we decide what happens next and where we need to go. What I'm hoping that you'll experience after all of this is more confidence in your body, in yourself, that people will notice that there's a shift and a change in you because you've been relating more authentically, more able to become more of yourself and release some of that stuff that just you didn't need to have inside you anyway. And then of course you can feel being cared for. You can feel being accepted as you are. And that's my gift. That's the part that I can do. <sighs> okay, that was a lot, y'all. <laughs> um, I hope I answered a lot of questions. If you're still here with me, which, you know, thank you, uh, and you're still interested in all this, please, I invite you to go and talk to Susan. Look, I gave you all the contact information. It'll be in the description at some point. Um, yeah. If you're seeing me on YouTube, you'll see it in the description. If you're seeing me on Facebook Live, those of you who are there, um, I'll be posting it below. But contact her, see about if you're a candidate for having a surrogate partner and how you can have an amazing life in the years you have left here. And that's, that's what we want, so. Love you all. Um, thank you for allowing me to share this with you all. <laughs>